Now, in my Ben Glue video, some people were saying that my hands moved a little fast and they weren't able to catch exactly what my hands were doing when I did the big flourish. Okay, so I'm going to show you, try to break this down for you. I parry. I strike. The left hand comes underneath the right. The right hand moves out of the way and this leaks forward to block an attack outward. Then I reach forward and I grab the person's arm or wrist and then I reach forward and this is that iron palm I talked about. But it actually in the form just comes into a mantis hand and pulls back. Okay, now fast, it looks like this. And I want you to notice what's happening with my shoulders. You'll notice that I'm not doing this. I'm not using just arms. It's got to be the waist and the shoulder power. Because in Mantis, the waist is our engine. All power must come from the waist. So if you're doing any of your forms and your shoulders are square like in karate and you're doing hand movements like this without engaging the waist, you're doing mantis completely wrong. So I block. Notice how this shoulder comes forward. I strike. Now this shoulder's forward and I'm torquing my waist. Block, waist, waist. Okay, look at that from the side. Okay, using that waist power. And you'll notice when this arm here, okay, you notice I don't come back to here. Okay? You don't want to try to fight like this. You don't want to fight like this because your, your guards are too close. You need to have the front guard extended more to kind of put up a shield in front of you. If you fight like this, I've seen people, and I've done this to people, knock this hand right into the person. Okay, I've done that in sparring to people. So you want to have this hand a little further. If you were to take your thumb and your finger and spread them out, attach it to your ribs, this is where your elbow should fall, is at this distance between the finger and the thumb. Put it against your rib, drop your elbow there. That's where you want that elbow to be, the proper distance. Very important principle. Now this hand I keep up near my cheek. So that if any hook punches come in, I can easily just bring my arm up or bring my arm out. I don't like bringing my arm out because that exposes the ribs and the armpit. The MMA has this thing where they like to block like this. But see what happens is, if I, I'll use a technique where I'll sucker high and then I come in low to the liver on this side. So I'll get the guy to lift his guard up to cover his head and then I'll slam him in the liver or the lower ribs to break the lower ribs. So this type of blocking, no, 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 no. Here, bring it up a little bit, but notice how the elbow stays down. I can block a hook punch and keep my elbow intact because the mantis principle is the hands are on the center line and the elbows are pressed against the ribs.